Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris, a mod pack for Mountain Blade Warband. Now, okay, I need to do something because I've had a really bad run with Floris recently, and I've really got to change it. I've got to turn it around. So, for those that don't know, I was doing pretty well on Floris, and then all of a sudden, disaster. The Vagirs attacked me, and yeah, we lost territory, I lost my army, you know, it just went to pieces, it was terrible. So, with that in mind, I need to do something. I've got to, like, turn all of this around and get back on the horse. Now, I could have made peace, and this may have been a mistake, I could have made peace with the Vagirs, but I refused. Now, here's my reasoning on that. And I mentioned this in the past videos, I have the chance of wiping them out. It's going to be hard because they've got full-on armies and castles and more numbers than I do. But if I was to wipe them out, they would never bother me again. That would be one less player in the game, as it were. So the way I could do it was to take out these castles and run down the rest of their lords. Now the only problem with this is that it gives them time to rebuild, it gives the time for the Nords to uh, do what they need to do, and it basically puts Suno in jeopardy uh, even longer. But, I don't know, it could be worth it, you know, I don't want to take the risk of losing everything again because they suddenly declare war upon me. But um, for now, my goal is going to be simply to rebuild my own personal army, so we're going to do this, then we got to get some more money in the treasury. Alright, here we go, it's a bit of a fight here, get some experience for my lads, let's have a look, okay. But then again, I could always just take my piece with them, and then focus on the Nords a little bit more. My biggest issue is that no one's wanting to join us, I'm hoping if I get a f a bit more territory, people might change their mind, but so far that hasn't happened, so I'm not sure. We'll work something out though. Oh, I hit a friendly troop. Bugger. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well, anyway. Are these guys not dead yet. Alright, there we go. Jolly good. So we're going to move on. I'm going to have to win battle after battle, I think. Losing is not an option from this point onwards. Now, I could hire the farmer, train him up. I suppose that's not a bad idea. My army is lacking at the moment. So to hire these people isn't going to hurt. There's a bunch of goodies here. But I don't want any of it. I probably should sell it, but I can't be bothered. I need to... Basically, right now, I really need to get my companions back. Find out where they're at. Stay on top of upgrading all my troops. Go ahead and get my archers set back up because my archers were probably the most effective setup I've had so far. I was able to deal with superior numbers just by positioning my archers, but uh, it's not always going to work. But hey, it's nice to have. So okay, we've got a bit of a bandit, a uh, bunch of bandits here. 53 of them. They're mostly archers. I've got 60 ready to fight, although a lot of mine are underleveled. But I do have a fair few archers at my disposal. Now, beating this guy will yield me about 49 prisoners I could rescue, which probably isn't a bad thing. I really want to take this fight. Alright, make sure no one else is around. I okay. Word with you about your personal belongings. Alright, terrain isn't that great, but there is a hill here that I can potentially use. It's not much of one, but 
any kind of height advantage is ideal in fact. Yeah. I'll have this slot move in. Cavalry can follow me. There's only a couple of them, but we'll we'll charge in from their their side there and see what damage we can do. As soon as I see first blood drawn, I know that we're in range. Although I've gotten a bit too close, never mind. There we go. I want to do this draw away their army a little bit. So we can wipe out the guys in front. My infantry isn't that strong yet, so I need to make sure I can keep them alive as much as possible. The cavalry's just gone down, just a couple of odd uh, troops are too worried. Infantry is too close to them, so they can't actually. Well, just can't hit the enemy. My horse is about to fall. That's fine. Get him. Alright, good job. I lost quite a few of my infantry, but as I said, they were low level. I kept the uh, archers though, which is the important thing here. Now I'm able to hire all these guys, so that's good. Take some more prisoners, as many as I can uh, manage, then we'll go sell them. But I think this is a good start, we just need to take these basic fights, gain whatever experience I can for my troops, and then we'll work out how we want to do this. Ready for upgrading? Let's have a look. Was it the Swadian Guard that I used to upgrade my troops to? I don't remember. To the Sheriff, or was it the other one? Oh, okay. I I see what I'm doing wrong. I've got to make him long bowmen. I've been doing the wrong upgrades. My bad. Doesn't matter though. Maybe I should get a cavalry section, but chances are, the way I do my fights with my archers, they're gonna die every time, so I better just have a solid infantry force. We'll see though. Just like taking those archers whenever I get the chance. So I'm going to try and uh, basically level up all my troops. Go ahead and get a full fighting force, and then. I'll probably should see what the other lord's doing, maybe I can get him to follow me. And we'll go see if we can take one of those castles. Now the problem is though, is when I go for these castles, the Nords have a chance of rising up and coming after me. So that's what I have to be careful of. That is what I have to be careful of. But I'm determined to do this. Oh, ambush. Oh, there's a few of them. Alright, let's do this. 
enough. Let's try that again. So we want to make our way back to Sunno and see if I can recruit anyone. I actually need food as well. Enemies on the horizon. I've got to be careful here. The last thing I want to do is run into some people. I could chase them but I don't want to run into that forest without knowing what's in there. There's a forest bandit camp, so there's a good chance there's more forest bandits. If I run into that big army, uh, I'll just be overwhelmed, so that's the last thing I want to do. Alright, there he is, okay. So I have an ally at least. I really want to take a look at Jobeji Castle at some point. King Ragnar has been defeated in battle, that's good news. Who's he at war with, or was he? did he lose to that Sea Raider army, I bet? Anyway, let's have a look. We do need food, so let's go ahead and do that. at the tavern, see if there's anyone here worth recruiting. I probably should get these guys because they're always here and I'm not going to get any new troops until I remove them, so we'll at least grab him at least. None of my companions are here, sadly. Okay, um... That's fine. I've got almost 700 troops here. That's a lot, and that's a lot of money I've got to pay. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Okay. My army isn't strong enough yet to take on the Lord with his army. At least I don't think it is. Not without heavy casualties. So I want to try and fight some more bandits if possible. Before I make my move. Which is easier said than done. Got about 4,000. I'm going to have to get some more money. In fact, let's have a look at my financial status because I have a bad feeling that a lot of my money is going to go out the window to pay for my guards at uh, the castle. In fact, I'm going to go check that because if I run out of money when I'm out in the world, I could just lose all my defenders at Suno. Oh, can we, can we chase those? No, they're too fast. Alright, let's have a look, see what we can do here. Okay, so that's not bad though. We pay, okay, it costs almost 6,000 to pay for. Okay, no. Wait, what? Am I actually making money here? We have a, we currently have an income of six thousand, and a cost of four thousand five hundred. So that means my, I guess I actually, okay. I think I'm actually covering my, uh, the costs. Although I don't see how that's possible, but okay. Unless I read that wrong. Well, it doesn't matter now. Just 
going to hang around here, patrol a little bit, see if I can find some bandits to have a quick scrap with. But sadly, there's no, doesn't appear to be anyone here. I could always go take out that hideout, but they're quite frustrating. You know what? Taking out that hideout would probably mean... Okay, here we go. We've got to be careful now. Straight about the sun now. Yeah, that won't end well for me. Manhunters, you don't want to take that fight. Oh my god, he's... Whoa, was he too far away? He was indeed! Okay! His mistake, that's fine. Anyway, no need to be sloppy with this fight. I want to get all my troops on a hill. Ideally this one, but this one is quite close forward. Guys, back over to that hill just in case anything happens. There's only 30 of them. Infantry, you hold here. Everyone else just attack. Wipe them out. <laughs> did my horse just land on him? I think he did. I really should name my horse. Okay, I'm taking too much damage. Infantry charge, just charge, go, 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 go. Get behind them. Use this chance to get off my horse. There we go. We kept most of our troops alive, so that's the important thing. Too much of a beating though in terms of the health I lost, so I'm not happy with that. We've got a few weapons, I'll go ahead and take what I can. Oops, clicked the wrong area there. Anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade our troops. The ones I was turning into sergeants at arms, I'm going to switch them over. Make them infantry and just focus on uh, longbowmen. Move the longbowmen up to the top of the list. Okay, this is, uh, I've been making too many turns, they caught up with me, luckily I'm faster than them. Now there is a lot of them here, let's take a quick look at this army. So, there is 261 at the back in that guy's little group. The leader is there with 122, so as long as the rear ones are far enough away, we shouldn't have much of an issue. They have a lot of prisoners, I could rescue a lot of people from here. See, if I was to, to turn around and fight this, I might be able to pull it off, but it's not something I want to risk. At some point, I'm going to have to make my way to Tulga to get all my money, but I was wanting to hold off just in case anyone decided to come and attack me. So far, it appears to be pretty quiet, which is good news for me. I guess we'll just wait here for a moment. Although to pick people off and keep fighting would be extremely useful. No. 
There's no way to do it without more coming for me. Maybe if my ally was here, my fellow lord, he gets into a fight, I could jump in and help him. Anyway, I'll worry about that later. I think what I'm going to have to do now is make my way to Tulga. Recruit who I can- oh, not recruit, or collect my money, I should say. Ah, this might be a good place to attack, although I have a feeling I'd lose it, or it might displease the Rodox, which is something I don't want to do at this point. Let's take a look here. Who are the Nords fighting? The Nords are at war with the Vagirs, okay. Well, that's good then. So I guess the Vagirs are currently beating each other up, that's fine, that gives me a chance to uh, heal up and then hopefully join the fray. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop. Haven't had any defeats today, which is uh, a plus. I'll try and uh, keep doing this and remain as uh, careful as possible because the last thing I need to do is just lose everything I've got and be back to square one. We do not want that to happen again, so hopefully one foot at a time, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.